It's with a great honor and privilege that I get to greet you today from the Master Prophet's sacred desk. God has to say this about what you've been through. The scripture comes from Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse number 11, and it reads, The Lord God of your fathers makes you a thousand times so many more as you already are and blesses you as he hath promised. We're going to go to Elder Bratton and Sister Lauren as they sing, Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I, I see, all I have need. Me. On last Friday, while I was making my way back from Tulsa, Oklahoma, after celebrating the extraordinary life of my dearly departed brother in Christ, Bishop Pearson, the Holy Spirit moved me to glance at my prophetic prayer list. And when I saw your name, the Lord suddenly told me to tell you, what you've been through isn't the truth of you. You see, lately you've been ensnared in a narrative that isn't your own, haven't you? The enemy even wants you to mistake your trials for your identity. However, God is about to rewrite your story because the Lord says you've been through it. You've been through isn't the truth of you. I remember when I hosted the first school of the prophets in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a town where prophets weren't exactly embraced. I remember how I had to wrestle with the gatekeepers in that land. Yet the Lord used my friend, Bishop Pearson, to help me usher, help me usher the prophetic into a place that was quite reluctant to embrace it. I remember I went through, yet today it isn't the truth of me. I also want you to know that there are trials you've been wrestling with over the past several weeks. But the Lord is preparing you for a season of unparalleled transformation that will cause you to look nothing like what you've been through. Will you believe the prophet? See, this journey you're on isn't just about overcoming, it's also about becoming. Hallelujah. You're about to step into a new chapter where your past struggles will become the testimonies of your divine destiny. That's because of the hardships you face were never meant to define you. They were only meant to refine you. Hallelujah. The Lord says, 
What you've been through isn't the truth of you. Even now, and I hear the word of the Lord saying that your present situation is in your final destination. Hallelujah. You're destined for greater breakthroughs that will leave you in awe. Be still and know that the same power that resurrected Christ from the dead dwells in you. Don't you know this? It's time to rise above the ashes of your past and wear your history as a mantle of victory and wisdom. Never a shackle of despair. Don't you agree? As we boldly enter into this month of December, I ask that you embrace a spirit of expectation and gratitude. Let this be a month where you prepare your heart and mind for the abundance that is to come. The abundance that is to come because a thousand times more is still your portion if you believe it to be. This is a time for renewal and hope, a period to close chapters that no longer serve you and to open yourself to new possibilities and opportunities, especially in the area of relationships. Will you believe the prophet? Then with unwavering faith, a hopeful heart, and a spirit of expectancy, I ask that you follow my prophetic instructions and take intentional faith action in the next 111 minutes, one hour, 50 minutes, and not a moment, minute, or longer, because your faith stance is a catalyst to declare it in the face of the enemy. What you've been through isn't the truth of you. I ask that you sow the $111.11 faith seed donation for Deuteronomy, the 11th chapter in the first verse, because your seed is a physical manifestation of your faith. And there is more the Lord wants to reveal to you concerning your prophetic future. As you sow the seed, do so with a heart full of expectation, believing that God will honor your faith and multiply you a thousand times more as he has promised you in his word. To unlock the rest of your personal prophecy, because the Lord has so much more to reveal concerning you in this month of December, contact me now at 888-831-0434 this very moment and let me know that you've received this special prophetic message. As you sow the $111.11 faith seed for Deuteronomy, the first chapter and the 11th verse, I want you to know that you are stepping into a profound spiritual principle. Your act of faith isn't merely about the financial contribution, but it's about aligning your faith with God's promises. Deuteronomy, the first chapter and 11th verse states, may the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times and bless you as he has promised. This verse encapsulates a powerful blessing of multiplication and favor. By sowing this specific faith seed donation, you are declaring your belief in God's ability to multiply and increase a thousand times more. Your faith seed is also a physical representation of your spiritual faith, a commitment to trust in God, provision and his promises. Your seed is ultimately an investment into your spiritual growth and the manifestation of God's blessing in your life that being revealed through the prophetic word of the Lord, because the Lord says, what you've been through isn't the truth of you. Know that every faith seed donation you sow into this ministry continue to make an impact worldwide. Your faith contribution continues to help you globalize the prophetic. 
delivering the accurate word of the Lord to those in need of hearing his voice. Thank you for your dedication to this ministry. I ask that you contact me today and not a day later. Now we'll go back to Elder Bratton. to hearing from you this month of December we're calling it a December to remember there's those of you that would say master prophet I'm sowing count me and I'm clicking the link in my email because I'm sowing my Deuteronomy 111 my 111 dollars and 11 cents faith seed I'm believing God for some things before the close of this year and the in this December I'm believing God. There's also those of you that would say, Master Prophet, count me in. I'm one of the ones that need to stretch. I'm doing the $1,000 seed or more. Why? Because I'm making this a December to remember. I look forward to hearing from you as we continue to globalize the world with the prophetic. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your continual support. If it was not for your support, we wouldn't be able to continue to do what we do in globalizing the world with the prophetic, one prophetic word at a time. I want us to continue to lift up in prayer our Archbishop, Master Prophet, and Leading Lady, Pastor Prophetess Deborah, as they're doing the work of ministry. They're out in Europe for the next 10 days. Let, also, let us not also forget that this week is coming up our Master Prophet and Leading Lady, Pastor Prophetess Deborah's 44th wedding anniversary. So let's celebrate them. Show them some love, family. Let them know we thank them. We love them. Amen. For their union 
of 44 years. Because of you, Master Prophet, we are. I want to say thank you. With all of that being said, I want to thank Elder Bratton. Thank you, mighty man of God. I also want to thank our singer, Sister Lauren Bird. God bless you and thank you. We also want to thank my eldest sister, Prophetess Naomi Cook. Thank you, mighty woman of God. I want to also thank Prophetess and Elder, Prophetess Gloria Jean Kelly. Thank you, mighty woman of God. We also want to thank Prophet and Elder Alexander Gray. Thank you, mighty man of God. And we also want to thank Prophet Stephen Brown. Thank you, mighty man of God. We want to say thank you to the audio team. And that's Prophet Joel Legs Mijan. Thank you, mighty man of God. And we also want to thank God for the video team under the leadership of Obed James. We had Liana Jordan and Noah Jordan there on the switcher and the board. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that being said, family, I want you to remember these words, that destiny is not left up to chance, but it is a matter of choice. Always choose Christ. God bless you. Peace. <laughs>